As you're navigating church online, you may have lots of questions. Here's one question that you need to be asking. Hey, pastors and church leaders, my name is Brandon Donaldson. I am the Senior Director of Product and Partnerships for The Open Network. I love that our team gets to build the church online platform. But right now, I wanna to talk to you as a church online pastor. Yeah, for about six years, I was a church online pastor and in my heart forever will be a church online pastor. And I know many of you have entered this season of online ministry without any choice, right? Some of you uh, had to react to what was going on, the challenges around us. You were forced to do it. I know many of you because of that have felt stressed, you felt overwhelmed, unsure, and I just want you to know, but God. But God is still working. God is still building his church. You know, as one of the team members that gets to build the church online platform, uh, where thousands of churches use it, we have seen this to be true. God is working. We've seen ministry and response to the gospel grow at an exponential rate during these challenging times. So I wanna take a moment and just give you some words of encouragement. From an online pastor to another online pastor, First, thanks for stepping into this. Thanks for stepping into online ministry. We see that God is using it. Second, just remember, the mission never changes. Regardless of building, internet, the mission will never change. And third, I hope this is encouraging, but methods continually change. I and mean, we've seen throughout history that God has used some of the most challenging times and the most difficult times to grow the church exponentially. Think about the very early church and persecution that happened. In that time, the church grew more than it ever had before because of it. You're doing a good thing, you're doing a good work. Don't ever forget that. And here is the main thing that I want you to hear. Actually, just one thing that if you will do it, I believe will change everything about your online ministry. And just thinking through this, it takes me back to what we call the internet campus in the early days, which is church online now. And when we first started it and we were dreaming about all that God could do, uh, we were planning and we were thinking through what could this be, what could God do, I put together a document. I just found this in the past because our team's been celebrating all that God has done through church online ministry. And it was written in 2005 and it was an internet campus guide and I pulled it out and I read this to some of our team and I wanna read it to you because it's gonna point us to this one thing that we need to do during this time that'll change everything. So this is what it said right at the very top. It had a bullet point, it said important leadership notes. And then it said continually leading the right mindset concerning church online, or we called it the internet campus back then. And then under that it had not the question, can we? The question is, what if? And then I began to put bullet points back in that day. I had like 604 million online. I believe that's how many were uh, be able to do broadcast, be able to actually watch a video. Here's the one thing that was such a, a huge help for me, and I believe will change the game for you, is to change your mindset. It's not about can we, it's not about should we, the questions that can really take us somewhere far is what if? What if God does whatever? What could God do if we did these things? For example, many of you are like, can we sustain this online ministry? I mean, some of us are just trying to stay afloat and I get that. But at this point, what if God continued to grow and continue to move in your online ministry? What if? Now, I know many of you don't have the March 2020 planning document where you got to sit down for months and cast your vision, um, but I believe now is the time to go back and ask yourself, what if? You know, when I wrote that note in 2005, there was approximately 16% of the world population online. As of June 2020, there is 62% of the world population online. What if God used your online ministry 
to reach even more people in your own community, in the community you live, in the community you serve? What if God was able to double, triple, 10x your reach, your ministry efforts from your digital efforts? What if God grew your global ministry through your online ministry? What if all of us together, the capital C Church, did what God called us to do with our online tools, our online influence? What could God do to reach the 62% of the world population online? So here's the one thing, the one thing that I know will change everything, change your mindset. See opportunity in the challenge. Remember that mission is first and let online technologies drive the mission. Let them serve the mission. Don't be afraid of the technology, but dream again. Imagine how those technologies could serve your mission God gave you. And then together, we all say, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever, amen.